everyone, thanks for joining me for another review. Uh, this one, not only are we going alcohol free, but we are also doing a cider. And what we've got is a bottle of Thatcher's Zero, 0.0%. It's in a 500 ml bottle. Not sure how much it was. I uh, don't think there was a label out, something like £1.82, quid, maybe even 2 20 who knows. Uh, it was picked up from Tesco's, if I'm correct. So there we go, there's the label. There's the Thatcher's bottle cap. And I don't have a Thatcher's glass, so we're gonna bang it in the old recorder lig one. So let's get it cracked open and see what we get. Is it just gonna be plain old apple juice? I don't know, uh, probably gonna taste like that. It's rather lively as well. There we go, look at that. Probably thinking about it now, it's a bit late now because I've already poured it in. But this has a bit of a, oh, you can still see it. Has a bit of a pattern on the outside. I was wondering if you're gonna be able to see the bloody beer at the bottom, or the cider, I should say. So there is, <clears throat> there is a little bit left in there. Look at the bubbles in that, that is absolutely manic. There must be a nucleated arse end in the bottom, and I believe there is. Uh, it looks like a cider. It does look rather lively. There was, well, there is a finger ahead, whether it's a bit bigger, but it does look as if it's sort of dying down a bit. There's some big bubbles in there, so it is disappearing a little bit. But yeah, looks like a cider, which you would expect. So let's dive in on the old nostrils and see if it smells like a cider. Just before we get going, I wasn't, I had a few of these sort of alcohol free ones. I was gonna spread them out because I'm trying to cut down a touch, not do dry January or nothing. But I got this beer out to do later on and it's rather a big one. Uh, a big 11% Imperial Stout, so I thought, let's dive in with St. Alcohol free before it. Uh, <laughs> just to give me a break, I had a few last night, to be honest, and I had a bit of a thick head this morning. Anyway, looks like a side. Let's go in for a sniff and crack on. It just smells like apple juice. Uh, for me, you take the alcohol away and it's just like a carton of apple juice on the nose. It smells a bit bland and a bit boring, but it does smell of apples. Anyway, stop sniffing. Let's get the rest in the glass. The old head's hanging around there, which I'm not surprised with the amount of bubbles that are coming up. I'm surprised anything would disappear from there. So, let's give her a try. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah, straight away. You can tell the difference, but we'll get to that in a bit. Very light, as you'd expect. Uh, you know, ciders aren't particularly heavy anyway. So I don't think it loses too much body-wise. I think you certainly get a bit more of the carbonation. I know, again, a lot of ciders are rather gassy. Uh, you kind of feel it a bit more in here with the, with the cider being a bit lighter. It doesn't rip your mouth apart, if you know what I mean, but... Certainly busy. A typical sort of side of mouth feel, if you like. Uh, Taste-wise. The one thing this does have over a lot of ciders, and I'm gonna say like the flavored ones, it actually tastes of apples and it tastes of cider. So that's a good thing. You can tell the difference. You do notice in this, the lack of alcohol. It does have a nice bit of sweetness to it. A little bit of sweetness, a bit of acidity. I'm getting kind of green apple sort of skin taste in there. Apple core, if you like, if you know what I mean. Uh, not apple core, is it? No, 
It's just that green skin, green apple skin. That's what you're getting in there. I'm talking shit now, aren't I? Uh, but yeah, it's refreshing. It's drinkable. I mean, if you're the designated driver, this does the job. Uh, some people may say, just drink apple juice. And probably from what I was saying to start off with, I was probably thinking the same thing myself. But the more you drink it, it does have a bit more of a feel of a proper cider, if you like. Uh, yeah, it's quite nice. It's, it's, it's nice, to be honest. You can't really complain about it. I think it's, I think it's quite decent. So, uh, yeah, Thatcher's Zero Alcohol-Free Cider. Is it worth a try? Absolutely, give it a go. Drinks like a dream. Uh, and yeah, why not? Why not? Is it is it going to be dearer than actually drinking? You know, what's that going to be? Let's say 180, maybe, two quid, maybe. I don't know, could even have been 150. You can pay a quid or more for a bottle of Coke, can't you? Uh, for a 500ml bottle of Coke. So really, it probably doesn't come in bad value. And if you want to have that feel that you're, you're having a drink or even, you know, in a group with people, just so you feel sort of like part of it, why not pick one up? Yeah, thumbs up from me, Thatcher Zero. Uh, give it a go if you like your ciders and you want some low alcohol stuff or no alcohol stuff. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. I've waffled on for way too long. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.